at Cable Channel 9. Big Best for Big Kids. And Little Best for Little Kids. Best! Yeah. Best is Brunel Elementary School Television. Best is television for kids, by kids. Best is not only activities at our own school, but all around the town of Bridgewater and at lots of other places of interest of kids. Best is Little Best, a program just for little kids. Best is also Big Best for older kids. Best even produces occasional programs mostly for adults. Best is special programs about special subjects like oceanography, the annual Brunel School Spelling Bees, our science expos, Brunel's Fantastic Memories concert, and the incredible Brunel Olympics. Best has been produced since 1981. We have been on local access cable TV in Bridgewater since 1986. Kids from Brunel School are both the talent and the technical crew for Best. You are about to see a sampling of some of our favorite Best shows from over the years. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the Best of Best. <laughs> Samantha. We are interviewing Mr. Baumgarten, who is a physical education teacher at Bernal School. We are interviewing you because you were chosen physical education teacher of the year for, for Massachusetts. Mr. Baumgarten, um, had you ever had an idea that you were nominated? Well, yes, I did have an idea. Two of my colleagues in the college physical education department, Professor Joe Smith and Professor Shirley Krasinski, both had told me that they were sending letters of nomination in for me. What is the process of choosing physical education teacher of the year? Well, in the state association from which I was chosen, there is a committee called the Outstanding Teacher of the Year Committee. And people submit their letters to that committee, recommending different teachers, and then the committee goes through all the nominations and decides which is the most deserving teacher for that year. How does it feel to be the Physical edu Education Teacher of the Year? Well, I feel very proud about what I've done and very pleased about how the program has gone. Uh, it's sort of a reward for all of the time and efforts that I put in with all of the programs. And it's nice that we get some recognition because I think what we do here is special and I hope other people maybe will take uh, a closer look at us now. Why do you think you were chosen to be Physical Education Teacher of the Year? Well, I think there are some things that happen at Burnell that perhaps are different from other schools. One is that we have a much broader program of activities. Many schools put most of their time into game play, and we do a lot with dance and gymnastics, so we have sort of an even balance between games and dance and gymnastics. Also, the way that our classes are conducted, everybody's involved. No one has to sit out and wait for long turns. And people have to think in my classes, and in many physical education classes, there isn't much thinking going on. People have to make their own sentences in gymnastics and dance, and that's kind of special, too. And finally, I think it's because of the special programs, with, uh, such as the road race, the jump rope for heart, the Olympics, the soccer program. Those are all extra things which make the program extra special, I think. <laughs> Off 
for you some of my latest breakthroughs in toy technology. Here it is, folks. Truly wonderful, the new improved Wonder Box. You may think it looks boring, but in reality, it has hundreds of uses. Here are some of them. You can draw on it, like that. Much fun. You can um, make a diorama, maybe a fish tank or a dinosaur scene. See right there? Now, maybe you'd like to make a little dolly playhouse. How nice. Or a zany mask. Try these for Halloween. You'll be a big hit. <laughs> now, if you have a slightly larger model, you could try uh, a dolly car. See, here it is. I'm going to have a nice time. Now, mm, now, you could maybe a mall, a shopping mall. Great place to shop in, see? Or possibly an electronic robot. See right there? I can tell you're worrying here. If you have one of our big jumbo models, don't fret. You can have a big, almost life-size truck, house, and cut the holes and play. You may have a big wonder box that looks like a bifold door box. Well, here's a suggestion for you. It's one of my favorites. Cut a big hole in the middle, big enough for you to sit in, and row down your imaginary river. Perfect kayak. Also, the kayak model can be changed into an exercise bike or another exercise machine, but I'll leave you to figure out how it works. It's childhood classes had their own restaurant. The kids learn about different jobs in a restaurant like waiters, waitresses, cashiers, and chefs. They also had a special treat when Mrs. Rodriguez brought in a barbecue ribs lunch from the Tony Roma restaurant. No, wait for another one. What would you like to eat? Um, we already decided. Um, okay, let's we'll have this and this. These two. I made okay. hamburger on the plane. She was a cheeseburger and some ice cream. Oh, no. Cheeseburger and ice cream. Here's your first here's your cheeseburger. And this is the one to play, April. Now we have to give the Who's doing the cooking here? I am. April's the cook? And where's the waitress? Okay. Come on, don't spoil your tea. <laughs> Would you guys like some more tea? I don't like it. I want some coffee more. I like some soup. Okay, um, soup or steam. What would you like? What would you like? Would you like your lemon dessert? Egg ball. I just said, let's go for You go cook. What should I say? Yeah, I like some soup. I he, would like, he would like some soup. Go serve him his soup. Okay. Okay. So that's not what's okay, what, what do you like, Rabbit? 
service here? It seems like they're trying to wait on you, no? Yeah, I got some You're change. getting impatient? This is what you get. This is what you get? This is a receipt? Yeah, this is for what you for get. For what you get, okay, I see. Okay, and what do you do with that? Do they have to pay their bill afterwards? Yes. Okay, and who decides that? Is that you or is it uh, the waitress? Her. Okay, so the waitress has to make this, make the bill up, right? Here's a check. Mine? I didn't even order anything. Yeah. I have to pay? Yeah. But I didn't even I didn't even get anything to eat. Here. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Thank so you. you, you Do I have to pay for all these people? Eat, just come here. This is a good place, huh? Yeah. What what's your specialty? What's your favorite thing to cook here? Best thing? Um Does the, does the cook always crawl under the table like that? Or? <laughs> Are you looking for new things to make? Or... What? She's going under again. I see. Yeah, we can think, drive. So, how is the food in this place, anyhow? You're one of the customers. What is your name? What is your name? Kaylin. Kaylin. What did you order? You ordered a uh, cheeseburger. A hamburger and ice cream. Okay. How was it? Good. Hey, I don't got my food yet. It's you haven't empty. got your, you haven't got your food yet. <laughs> I think that someone should be serving you. What did you order? What did you order? Cake with a, a fish or soup. Fun. No. Oh, I like my don't hamburger and ketchup. If, if you get hungry, just come here. Oh, I'll be sure to come here if I'm hungry. That's absolutely. This is the place to come. I can see that. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.